Hi, and welcome to week 18 of World History 2. So this week, we will be looking at some of the key events and themes going on, uh, continuing on from last week. We'll be delving into the factors that promoted German nationalism, examining the influence of Queen Victoria and the values she represented, uncovering the social and economic reforms enacted by the British Parliament in the 1800s, shedding light on the efforts by British women to win the vote, and finally, explaining the struggle for Irish home rule and the impact of famine on Ireland. So we're going to begin with the factors that promoted German nationalism in the late 19th century. The, so the early 1800s saw a fragmented German confederation consisting of numerous states. The Napoleonic Wars, which we discussed towards the end of last semester, and the Congress of Vienna, should you recall, played a significant role in shaping the political landscape of Europe, including the German territories. The desire for unified Germany gained momentum with the rise of Romanticism, which celebrated cultural identity and common language. So many had uh, contributed to the intellectual underpinnings of, G of German nationalism. We're going to be discussing some key figures, such as George Hegel. Additionally, economic interests, advancements in transportation and communication, and the shared threat posed by external forces like Napoleon contributed to a growing sense of German unity. Ultimately, the culmination of these factors led to the formation of the German Empire in 1871 under the leadership of Otto von Bismarck. Otto von Bismarck, excuse me. <clears throat> we will then shift our focus to Britain. The influence of Queen Victoria uh, during the 19th century cannot be overstated. Queen Victoria, who ascended to the throne in 1837, became a symbol of stability and continui continuity during a period of significant social and economic change. Her reign, known as the Victorian era, was characterized by a strict adherence to moral values, social conservatism, and an emphasis on family life. Queen Victoria's values had a profound impact on British society, influencing everything from fashion to social norms. The Victorian era also witnessed the expansion of the British Empire and the Industrial Revolution, shaping the global landscape for years to come. Meanwhile, the British Parliament um, in the 1800s, um, the, there was a series of social and political reforms. The Industrial Revolution brought about profound changes in society, leading to the exploitation of the working class, for instance. In response, Parliament passed various acts aimed at improving working conditions, restricting child labor, and expanding voting rights. Landmark legislation, such as the Factory Acts and the Reform Acts, reflected a growing awareness of the need for social justice and paved the way for a more inclusive and representative uh, political system. We will then move forward and we will look at the efforts of British women to win the right to vote. Um, the late 19th century and the early 20th witnessed the rise of, of the women's suffrage movement with the activists, activists like Emmeline Pankhurst and her daughters leading the charge. The movement sought to address gender inequalities and secure voting rights for women. After years of peaceful pro protests and civil disobedience, the Representation of the People Act in 1918 granted limited suffrage to women in Britain. It was a crucial milestone in the ongoing struggle for gender equality and political representation. Finally, turning our attention to Ireland, the 19th century saw a tumultuous struggle for Irish home rule. The Irish, facing political and economic marginalization under British rule, sought greater autonomy or self-rule. However, tensions escalated, particularly during the Great Famine of the 1840s, which devastated Ireland's population due to a potato blight. The famine had a profound impact on Irish society, leading to mass immigration and further fueling the desire for self-governance. The push for home rule culminated in the early 20th century with the establishment of the Irish Free State in 1922 marking a significant chapter in Irish history. 
So I hope that this was informative and a good preview for the week ahead. I look forward to working with you all next week.